A top San Francisco official and a well-known restaurant owner arrested by the FBI and are now at the center of an alleged corruption scheme. KPI X finds Wilson Walker with the shocking allegations and those charges the two now face. Wilson? All right, well, on Friday afternoon, I was here at City Hall on the third floor in the office of Mohammed Nuru. We were talking about the changes in traffic patterns over on Market Street. Now, little did I know at the time that he had already been arrested and knew that this corruption investigation was underway. We did not know, no one knew, but as of today, everyone is aware of this, and it is a very big deal. The complaint alleges corruption, bribery, side deals by one of San Francisco's highest ranking public employees. Mohamed Nuru, San Francisco's director of public works since 2011, was first arrested last Tuesday on corruption charges. Federal prosecutors say he agreed to cooperate in secret, but was arrested again yesterday after breaking that agreement. Again yesterday interviewed, he uh, falsely denied disclosing the investigation, his cooperation with the investigation, and so he was taken back into custody yesterday. Today, prosecutors described what they call five different, quote, schemes, unquote, three of them also involving Nuru's co-defendant, Lefty O'Doul's restaurant owner, Nick Bovis. First, the complaint says the two men schemed to bribe an airport commissioner to land a restaurant deal. This is the airport scheme. The complaint says the two men also tried to arrange commercial leasing rights at the Transbay Transit Center and manipulate the city's portable toilet designs to help Bovis land a bid. Now, on his own, Nuru is also accused of accepting gifts from a billionaire developer from China who was working in the city and obtaining free or discounted work on his vacation home from contractors doing business with the city. And as soon as we have more information, uh, we will provide that information to you all. And so um, that's really. Uh, all I would be able to say at this time. So. Mayor London Breed did not say much about the allegations, but the news was a bombshell at City Hall. The man, self described as Mr. Clean, holds one of the most high profile spots in the city, and it is considered uniquely powerful. It really should be an opportunity to look in the mirror and think about a broader restructuring and a lot more accountability. It's definitely at DPW, but you know, across city government. All right, now the mayor has, has since issued another statement in just the last little, uh, well, maybe 30, 40 minutes now, saying that she has seen a little bit more information on those charges and is promising just a sweeping examination of anything Mr. Nuru may have come in contact with. Obviously, his influence over, over projects administered by the city is tremendous, so you can imagine the, the re examination that all of this is going to look. And not, not just one microscope, like a classroom full of microscopes on all. All of the business dealings that have gone through his office. So that is the promise from the mayor's office. And Mr. Nuru himself now facing as many as 25 years uh, for the for the assemblage of, of charges now that come with this case. So uh, the investigation here at City Hall really just beginning. We are live here at San Francisco City Hall. Wilson Walker, KPX 5.